It appears that the customs and immigration trade dispute may be a step closer to resolution. Both sides appeared before the industrial tribunal for just over an hour today, using the time to try and come to an agreement on the matter moving forward. The legal action comes on the heels of weeks of industrial action by customs and immigration officers in April. Fern Carey tells us what transpired today. To avoid wasting time, the court informed both sides that the new government may change the complexion of the case for the Bahamas Customs Immigration and Allied Workers Union. The tribunal also feels it may be best to adjourn the matter, to allow Crown Counsel David Higgins to get new instructions from the incoming Attorney General. But before this could happen, the union's attorney, Obi Ferguson, said he would need a compensation study from the Crown. The study reportedly determines how much customs and immigration officers receive for overtime and other issues. Another item in dispute is the shift system in place for customs and immigration officers. According to Ferguson, under the industrial agreement, they are required to work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. five days a week with two days off, but that is not happening. This prompted Higgins to inform the court that workers were paid $1,500, inclusive of outstanding grants and compensation, before May 7th. But Ferguson noted that the union never agreed for customs and immigration officers to receive a partial payment of the monies owed. After hearing from both sides, the court advised him to work it out. Outside of court, Ferguson had this to say. There was some information that we needed in order to resolve it. And the, the parties have agreed, meaning the employer, they have agreed to disclose those documents. Um, we expect them to on a timely basis, after which we will meet with the, with the union. Meantime, the delay in resolving the matter is not sitting well with union trustee Alma Wims. The last time the union appeared before the tribunal, the matter was adjourned to this Thursday without the court handing down a ruling. We are back almost to square one again. But we, we don't understand how we got, got back to square one, but we wait for the new government to see what their position will be and we will have a meeting with the members. Fern Carey, Saturday News.